I'll be sure to shit on energy next week. What was what was up with the lease and top? The more structure behind how we play. Please don't be Faker. It's Faker. <laughs> is it actually? Uh, four number four is Faker, I guess. Yeah, man, those were uh, some rough games, uh, especially game one. What was what was up with the lease and top? Um, honestly, it was just a spur of the moment. I think he. He's always mentioned Lee's in top here and there before in the past, and I think he saw an angle, I guess. So we're like, fucking Castle, just send it if you think you're confident. And we sent it, and we lost. <laughs> Unfortunately, we lost, but it's okay. It's all good. Um, we did agree as a team that the draft was not ideal game one, just overall. So we kind of marked that one as draft uh, being bad. Uh, game two was definitely more competitive. I think draft was made way, way more even. Fortunately, I got hooked at a Herald fight, and that was obviously it wasn't the we didn't lose a game off it right there, but it was really bad for me. Uh, I lost some tempo and farming, and keeping my condition good in the game obviously sucks. Was that on you? It felt like you were super close to Castle, and it just felt like you guys were saying move forward, but he, maybe he didn't get the memo, so he walked back, and that's why you got hooked. I don't remember exactly, but it was kind of sad that I. Was a little bit behind Kazante, but uh, um, I think it's also on me. It's more on me, I'd say, to try to position myself to make sure I stay behind them. Because um, there was no. The, the fight was over, basically. And I was just kind of overreaching, and then I, I left myself open, so I put that in myself. All right, that's fair. Um, this Immortals looks and feels like they're playing the game a little bit better than last split, even though we're, we still hear the same rumors of like, you guys are dominating scrims, you're doing so well. What what what's changed that you guys can actually play a little bit better? Um, I know you guys are one on one right now, but you know it looks like you guys are playing more confidently. I think us uh, spending time in second split has helped a lot. We have a general idea of how we want to play the game now. Um, I feel like there's way more uh, there's more structure behind how we play, so it's we're able to keep everyone more on the same page. I think that's been the biggest thing. Um, there's stuff we need to learn still. Obviously, we took so away. We're gonna take away some things from today because we lost. Um, but I say it all boils down boils down to just having more structure and being on the same page. Did you feel like uh, it was maybe personal when they kept ganking your mid laner? I know that last time you guys played, you had Armeo who just kept going mid and shielding Castle over and over against Jojo, and Jojo just couldn't do anything because I think Armeo was playing Ivern. Is this like revenge or something? I wouldn't say it's personal. I think it's just the nature of how C9 will also, also play. They are all, especially with Sen and Nautilus, I think they'll probably play around mid a lot. Um, I, I, I did notice that mid took a trade uh, game to level one. I, I do think it was kind of on him because we did see Senna recently and he made it really volatile before lane started. So Senna did have free time before bot lane really started. Um, but it was something personal, just playing the game. All right. Uh, how has the Immortals environment been? Um, I know you have like a new coach coming in. Has that changed the environment at all? I'd say we're definitely different. I feel like our I feel like we're able to be slightly slightly more productive. Um, yeah, I mean, it just feels like we're more productive this time around, I guess. All right, I got a little game for you. Uh, I, I do have a couple more questions about the game, but uh, let's do this first. So here on my phone, I have a random number generator. And basically what I'm going to do is it's going to pick out a random number and I have like professional players that are corresponding to those numbers. And I want you to just rank them one through five. Okay. All right, but um, I don't know, it might be too small to show. But basically, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and start. So 32 is the first number. I mean, I don't think it matters if I show you or not. 32 corresponds to... Um, Razark. Okay. So I I rank him one through five blind, right? Yeah. Um, let's put my three. First one, three. Let's put my three. All right. Yeah. The next one is eleven. Eleven is Kobe. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. Like no, Kobe, carry? like the the XCLG player who's a caster. Yeah. Oh. I mean. No shade to you, Kobe. Number five. Number five. Oh, he's going to hate you for that. Oh, All right. Sorry, next is 37, who's Karzi. Karzi. 
Um, I'll put out one. I have a reason. I have a story about him, actually. All right, all right. We got two more, and then I'll get your story. Um, 18 yeah. is Pays. You got two and oh, four open now. Yeah, Cars you won. Pays is number two, obviously, then. All right, and last one is seven. Please don't be Faker. It's Faker. <laughs> is it actually? Uh, four, number four is Faker, I guess. I got some pretty good names there. It is, it is. All right. I'll, I'll tweet at you the, the full list. I can't really show it up yeah. now, but go ahead with your Cozy story. Yeah, so um, at, I think it was 2021 Worlds. Some, one of the Worlds is 2020, 2021, I believe 21. We we're doing like photo, it was like a Riot content day, a media day photo shoots. So like, they were doing like face offs where like both teams stare at each other, like really close, almost in melee range, really close in front of each other. Um, and we'd look, we'd try to, we had to try to look serious, right? So like it looks good for the camera shots, but a lot of times what happens is like people start laughing because it's like kind of cringe. You're just facing people face to face, and this guy just during the shot he just booped my nose like boop, and I just couldn't stop laughing for like ten minutes. Oh god, it 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 it's fits his personality. I don't know if you follow his Twitter. I can't. I used to, and I'm just like, dude, this guy is like unhinged, man. Yeah, yeah, he's a, he's a he's a yapper for sure. <laughs> He is. Uh, did the uh, the all tech, uh, the trash talk on uh, all chat from Jojo Pian get to get to mask at all? Nah, not really. He didn't really talk that much. He hasn't been talking nowadays. Back when he was an EG when he first came out, he but he was yapping. But now nowadays he's quiet. Oh, you've been streaming on the off season. I've been in your chat a few times. Uh, do you plan on streaming during the split? And sort of like, does streaming take away from your ability to actually practice uh, efficiently? So streaming for me, the I'm I'm able to do it. The only problem is I'm, I feel like I'm pretty tired usually after scrims, and I feel like the streaming puts extra like mental strain, I guess. Even though even if I don't have to talk much, I just feel like streaming. I don't know. I just feel, I just don't think I'm up to it or feeling the vibe to stream usually. So it's harder. That's why it's harder for me to stream during a split. Okay, that makes sense. What about? Like actually making content because I've seen you guys been trying to make more content, uh, especially that ad you did for Progressive. I know you weren't in it, I think, but the one with Kangas was playing chess and yeah, then you had yeah, a mask yeah. and a go kart. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm a big content maker. I feel like maybe it would work, but like, I, don't, I can't. I can't imagine myself as a content creator. But maybe I can because sometimes I'll, I get people asking like, "What about you two? I'm like, maybe, but I don't know if I stream enough for that or how I'm able to. What about yapping? Do you who's the who's like the biggest yapper in your team? Because I feel like you guys could easily oh, just have like a chill podcast where you guys just yap, you know? It's definitely our mayo. Our mayo, really? Yes, he he's a yapper for sure. It's a meme. It's a meme that we he's a yapper in our team. I thought you would have said Ole because whenever I'm interviewing Ole, Ole and I've yapper, really. what's up? Ole is also a yapper. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I've even had people like interviewing him and be like, man. I finished late. The interview just like kept going on and on because Ole just wouldn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like him, honestly. All right. Um, do you think that Cloud9 is back? Or do you think that Cloud9 will not like finish top two this split as well? I think they are definitely a contender for top two. Um, my personal, I don't, it's not a specific order of rankings, but my personal top two Two or three would be like TL Fly and possibly C9 as well. I think when it comes down to playoffs, it depends on whose form is the best. And even if they look a bit, a bit different in gap, there's always a chance to win a series because whoever shows up on the day always wins. All right, that's it. That's all the questions I have for you. Uh, thank you for doing this. Actually, do you have anything to say to the uh, Immortals fans? Yeah. So thanks for everyone for watching today um, or anything. All our content. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't give you the win today. I'm pretty sad about it, but I'll be sure to shit on energy next week. All right, can't wait to see it. I'm recording this Sunday after the Shopify games, so yeah, not too ex new, not too hyped about what happened. But the, the tactical interview was pretty fun, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the uh the questions that i asked that little game that i played and if you have any other like ideas or whatnot uh also we hit 2k thank you guys so much for for helping me do that um i do want to do something to like celebrate 
Uh, and uh, some people have been leaving some suggestions. So hit me up with your suggestions on what you think I should do to celebrate. And uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button because uh, we keep growing in this house.